the John Smith Sandy Gap Chase is next, and this is a three mile one four long naught to 160. And there's a big feel for this, only two less than we're in the Grand National. The top one is Beat Your Wings, Leon Van Rensburg, Lord of the North, Joshua Sutherland, Placebo Park for Craig Allen. Up on the catwalk, Leon Van Rensburg, Plague Runner for Craig Allen, Special Cargo, David Robertson, Gallagher Origin, Martin Lidham, Reality Check, Ryan Tamasebi, Toulon Ballard, James Shea, Bonjour, and Florence Nightingale for Paul Rhodes, Stroll Wigmore for James Shea, Wing Respect for David Robertson, Bocco for Martin Lidham, Wadia Smiles and Griffin Guest for Darren Thompson, Pretty Storm for Craig Beckwith, Wichita Mayhem, Alex Cherry, Court Marlette, Graham Clutterbuck, Gypsy King, Alex Cherry, Hollywood National Derek Hinton, Leighton Damage Daniel French, Ultra Cool Graham Clutterbuck, Sunbeam Talbot, John Morgan, Uvini Talking, Thomas Rogers, and Interact Turquoise, Vinnie Gerard. So big field then, and called in and away. And I think one or two of these might be a little bit wide at this first fence as they get to it. They are indeed, but they're all safely over the first. And Florence Nightingale over on the far side is in the lead with her stable mate on the rail. Bonjour also to the four wing respect and pretty storm close to us with Sunbeam Talbot as they get to the second and over that one they go and we've lost one there and that's Griffin Guest so Griffin Guest is the first one to depart then for Darren Thompson as Lord of the North now bursts through to take it up and they make their way down towards the third of the 19 fences in this race and Lord of the North is the leader from Bonjour in second those two right over on the far side on this near side Sunbeam Talbot and pretty storm and they're all safely over that one with Interact, oh no Interact Turquoise is gone, so Interact Turquoise is a faller there for Vinnie Gerrard I think, and so that's two out already as they take this turn and one or two of these who are wide are going to really get to lose quite a bit of ground as you can see there, that is a sharp turn and it's not good for a field this size, but anyway, it's Lord of the North is in the lead. They've got to go round it again later as well. So it's Lord of the North in the lead from Bonjour in second. Reality checks now move through into third. Florence Nightingale is fourth, and then Sunbeam Talbot, and then Toulon Ballard, and then up on the catwalk, and then comes Court Milet, and then Wadia Smiles and Wing Respect after that one. But they're quite well strung out now, then, with Stroll Wigmore out of shot as they get to fence number four. And over that one they go, one or two nods there. And Uvini talking, I think, was the one. No, it wasn't it's Placebo Park that made the mistake, but it's Lord of the North who's clear as they get over number five, a mistake from Bonjour in second. Also a bit of a dodgy jump there towards the back by Hollywood National and also by latent damage. Gypsy King is the last one in shot. Stroll Wigmore is out of shot as they get over number six and over that one they go then and Lord of the North is really setting a stiff pace here and he's a good eight lengths clear of the rest of them. So coming into number seven and Lord of the North gets over that one well clear. The rest of them all jumped in okay. And there you can see the back marker, but they're now going to swing left-handed again and make their way towards the home straight shortly. And Lord of the North is six or seven lengths clear of Toulon Ballard, who's moved through in a second. Reality check is sitting quietly on the inside in third. Then Bonjour is fourth, and Sunbeam Talbots after that one. Then comes Ultra Call and Court Milet as they get over number eight. And over that one they all go, and they all jump that one okay. We've still just lost the two. Lord of the North's lead is now down to a little more than four lengths with two long ballad closing all the time in second. Reality check is still there in third, then Court Milet and Sunbeam Talbot. Bonjour just dropped back a little bit as they take number nine. And then after that one comes up on the catwalk, Ultra Cool and Wing Respect are close up as well. Wadia Spars the Grey just being pushed along a little bit, then Plague Runner and Bucco and Florence Nightingale and Placebo Park together as they take that ditch. And there's something gone there up on the catwalk's gone. So that's one of the fancy runners gone. So Leon Van Rensburg can win the Grand National, but his horse can't get round the mild mate course. And it's Lord of the North who's in the lead from Toulon Ballad in second and reality check third. Court my lead is four and then somebody in Talbot is five as they race down on this next one. And over that one. That's a crashing fall there for I think it was caught, it was ultra cool. I thought it was Court Marlette for a second, but it was ultra cool, the stable companion that went. As they make their way then now. Past the winning post. And all those poor supporters there or spectators stuck behind those railings can't see a 
think, aren't they? Because the, the posts are a foot higher than they are. Well, that's quite good. So it's Lord of the North in the lead from two long Ballard in second, then Reality Jack is third, Sunbeam Talbot is fourth, and then Bonjour, and then Wing Respects and Court Marlet and Wadia Smiles and Florence Nightingale and Plague Runner. And that turn didn't cause as many problems that time because the field is so well strung out, there's almost half a furlong first to last. But it's Lord of the North who's still four clear of two long Ballard in second, Sunbeam Talbot in third, and the leader didn't jump that all that well. Also down on its nose towards the battles of Placebo Park, but it's Lord of the North who's in front from Bonjour and Sunbeam Talbot and Wing Respect and then Toulon Ballard Reality Check and Wadia Smiles and Florence Knight again and Court Milet there's a big gap then to Special Cargo another gap back to Whitstar Mayhem and Pretty Storm and then Gallagher Origin and Uvini talking as they get over number 14 and there's another four there Gallagher Origin's gone so that one's fallen two weeks on the trot and that one's out today and so Wing Respect has now taken it up as they get into the 15th and another mistake there by I think it was Florence Nightingale but it's still wing respect in the lead it's difficult to see what's going on there so far apart but it's wing respect in the lead wing respect is two lengths clear of Lord of the North in second two long ballad is back in third then Florence Nightingale then Wadia smiles a reality check and Sunbeam Talbot special cargo's trying to run on so too's pretty storm over the 16th they go and they're all over that one okay but wing respect is still in front wing respect is in the lead then but now they're beginning to charge behind reality checks coming through so too special cargo Wadia smiles what star mayhem then in with chances the one that's really running on nicely from the back is late in damage but a lot of ground to make up as they get over to third last wing respect then from special cargo reality check with star mayhem then comes Florence Knights again and Wadia Smalls and pretty storms after that one then Sunbeam Talbot and Court Milet over to second last they go and it's wing respect in the lead wing respect is ahead of his stable mate special cargo which time Mayhem is third, Reality Check is fourth, they're coming down there towards the final fence, and it's Wing Respect in the lead, Special Cargo in second, could it be a David Robertson one two? they're racing down towards this final fence, and Wing Respect lands over it in the lead, Special Cargo over it in second, which time Mayhem third, then Reality Check, and Wing Respect and Special Cargo racing up towards the line there now, Wing Respect is going to take it, I think Wing Respect wins it, Special Cargo in second, which time Mayhem third, then Reality Check, Florence Nightingale, Sunbeam, Tarbot, and Bonjour, and Quartz, a lot of them never got into it at all. Booker was the last one to finish. Never got a blow in at all. Most of those at the back had their chances taken out on that very first bend on that first circuit. But David Robertson, heartbreaking the Grand National for him as he couldn't wear down the Leon van Rensburg winner and finish second. But he makes up for it in this next race by taking a 1 2 with Wing Respect and Special Gargo. So Wing Respect takes it, then Special Gargo second, both for David Robertson. Which star mayhem for Alex Cherry third, reality check for Ryan Tamasevi fourth, and Florence Nightingale for Paul Rhodes was fifth in what was in truth a bit of a messy race.